What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is episode three of the 25K Apex Trader Funding Challenge. So this morning we had Jay Powell speaking at around 1240 Eastern time. And as always, he shifted the entire market. We had a solid bullish momentum for the beginning to the end of the interview. But right after the interview shut off, we had a crash and burn of the ES and the NQ. So uh, I wanted to just shout out though that for this specific 25K account, um, I don't plan to be trading any of the news or you know big events or speeches just because the main intention of the series is to really grow and show consistency over time. Um, to grow and show consistency that small wins over time can really compound the account and grow it. And to put it into an analogy, uh, imagine making 100 bucks a day over five funded accounts. That's $500, you know, give or take with the fees and commissions and obviously the, the amount of capital you need to survive. But, you know, imagine having that much lump sum per day, five days a week, like, it seems like a pretty good amount, especially if you just take the small wins over time, right, to build that cushion. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the trades that I took this morning. Now, if you guys are in desperate need of a Valentine's Day gift for yourself or somebody else, Apex Trader Funding is hosting the 80% off flash sale right now. So in the description below, you guys can use my code and also my link to be able to purchase an account for you or somebody else. But it's a solid deal because it's 80% off the first month and every recurring month after. The 80% isn't applicable to any resets or static accounts, but the really awesome part about this also is that you get to be entered into a one million dollar giveaway so apex is going to give away 10 100k pa accounts to anybody that either purchases a new account during this time or any resets so definitely check it out if you'd like and it also supports me too so i appreciate it very much so I didn't have time today to record my recaps of my trades from this morning earlier. I had a pretty busy day, but I'm still able to go over the trades as I marked where the trades were this morning, thankfully. The screen, you're going to see that it says PL0. Um, however, the next slide is going to show the um, actual PL from this morning. It was like $230 we brought in, and everything will match up. It's just because I'm recording here at night, so it's considered the next trading day. Anyways back to the um the trades that I took. So I got in about two, three minutes after market open and I knew that we we're gonna have Chop City just because Jay Powell was gonna be speaking. However, I didn't realize that it was gonna be that choppy. So I got in like I said 632, 633, and it was his first candle on the 10,000 tick chart. Thought we saw enough momentum to break and possibly do a retest. So we did break above the um, support line here, but we just never could stay above it or this resistant line. So we can never stay above. Uh, therefore, we went down to about uh, 4108. And it was a bit scary seeing that drawdown come down. But um, I held, I held, I put my, my stop loss right below these uh, double bars and thankfully waited about 8 to 10 minutes and it took off, did its thing. We were able to cash out 1.5 points. Then we got into our second trade right after just because I saw what, where my previous trade had closed out that we were breaking finally this top level and we did a retest. So I got in right as um, the new candle was developing. We did a full range, right? We did a retest and then we broke above and thankfully we, we were able to snag out that one point. And then I was done with the account for this morning. So um, two things that I could really take away from this was one, being patient to see the entire story play out. Got in too early, especially on a Chop City day, but it is what it is, right? Gotta apply this for the next time we have a speech, um, especially with Jay Powell. And then the second thing I, really recognize as well as the breaking retest. I feel like it's a very common pattern that I tend to trade, um, like off camera and I think even on camera, but that I would really have to wait for that retest because had I, you know, decided to get in at the, the bottom here where I thought, okay, we're going to bounce out again, I could have just easily been um, pulled down. So two big lessons for me today. And that is a wrap of episode three. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's really exciting to see that our hard work is paying off and really taking it slow this time around. Really showing that if you grow little wins over time, you can really make it to your profit goal, pass the evaluation and really just feel your edge coming all together and feeling in rhythm with the market. Obviously, it's still a little too soon. We are only on day three. Anything can happen, but we gotta stay positive and look towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Nonetheless, thank you again for your support, and I hope to see you soon in episode four.